right? <laughs> really? <gasps> <laughs> Italy's wild. That's insane. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> About what? Italians? Yeah, they're learning it. Uh, yeah. They were this is mine. All right. I've been looking for it this. It was in the middle of the couch. It was Fuck underneath. Yes. Yeah. It's what big, is that? It's a chapstick. It's a very <laughs> nice, high end chapstick. chapstick. The guys are aggressive over here on Grinder. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. You popped off as soon as you landed. Oh, yeah. You just You're a hungry on. boy. Yeah. I'm just bored. It's like Candy Crush. <laughs> it's not even like real anymore. Dude, dude. You know? So what's a... Yeah, who's oh, showing we, us? We're was fine, Bobby? Right? Yeah, was yeah, Bobby showing us? Yeah, it was just like... <laughs> was just, what? He pulled... I, was it Grinder that he pulled up? Who was showing us that that app? And it was just like, just dicks everywhere. It's yeah. a lot. It's pretty overwhelming, yeah. I guess. But yeah. it's weird because you forget... Like, I'll look at it literally like it's Candy Crush, but I'm in like a CVS. I'm like, I need to like... Yeah, chill. Really, like, pay attention to where I'm... <laughs> Putting my yeah yeah. It's like when you're watching porn the night before and you forget, then you go to the coffee shop mm-hmm. and you're like, I'm just gonna check Instagram real quick, and then yeah. you open your phone. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, dude. <laughs> so, and it's so also really dirtiest raked. porn. You were like, like I'm bored of porn, so I got to go real dirty tonight to get <laughs> yeah. this going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what's your what's your? I had that happen to me just quickly. I had that happen to me <laughs> at work in a meeting. In a meeting, I li- <laughs> but it wasn't even actual porn. It was just Instagram. Like it was one of those things where it like loaded for a second and then loaded a bunch of new shit. Yeah. So I opened it and it was like, ah, and, then, and then switch. And I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. It's Instagram. It's normal yeah, Instagram. Like, oh, I right, used to get dude. that complaint because I used to post so many thirst traps and my friends were like, I had to stop following you, Mateo, because everywhere I go, I open up my phone and there you are on your fucking jock strap. I'm like, dude. look, it was, I'm trying to get laid. <laughs> It's working for uh, for Evan too, right? Evan's always shirtless. Evan is always. What's I imagine up, this is What's your up, direction. Man? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> it's great, man. That's great. I know, man. It's disgusting. It's disgusting, man. But uh, here we are, man. You yeah, fucking yeah. are, man. <laughs> okay. Okay, That's man. That's unbelievable. Thanks, yeah. man. Thanks. You get laid on Evan. You get laid on the road. So <laughs> Evan? As, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think so. No, every time I'm with him, he's always with some dramatic girlfriend or something or uh, some sort of drama's happening. Yeah. Who gives a shit. <laughs> I, would, yeah. I wouldn't know anything yeah. about that. Yeah. This is why yeah. gays do it right. But, We've always, we're, first of all, we're pro gay on this show. Yeah. Are we? Shout yeah, we are. Look at, the, the, look at your hair. Yeah, yeah, of course we are. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is why I say you guys do right is you just, you get in, you get out, you fuck no drama. Is that you really know? the case? Guys Usually, like Usually, I mean, it just depends a bit, but generally speaking, especially like a Manhattan gay, it's like, yeah, how's two to three? Great. Really? Yeah. That's Damn, incredible. You'll depends. You'll depends. do afternoon sober fucks? Yeah, but I mean, wow. it's not like, not like a lot, but I mean, like grinder doesn't mean I'm going to fuck. It just means I'm looking around. Yeah. You know, and I go on and off grinder because I have to hide my face now because now every time I, I got kicked off grinder because I thought I was catfishing. They're really? like, you're not really <laughs> Mateo Wayne. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, but it is me. And then they kicked me off and then I messaged grinder on Instagram I'm like, it's me. And they're like, we're sorry. But then it, <laughs> it becomes overwhelming and it's too much, too much. It yeah. wants too much too quick. So like. Every blue moon, I'm like, yeah, I got a regular. I'm like, what are you doing this week? I got a job. What about that? I'll come to you. Fine. Okay, we'll work. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a regular in every city? No, no, no. Just New York. Oh, okay. I have one guy in Chicago uh, and maybe like three here. Not that many. Like re- like maybe-ish, regular-ish. Good for you. I'd like to date. I have a lot of guys I flirt with. I mean, I'm on Instagram. Like, I, There's so many guys I'm going to marry. But yeah. they live in Brazil. So it's like, yes. what am I going to... Yeah, Argentina, Brazil, yes. Chile, yes. Colombia. Yeah. You know what I mean. Every like, once in a while, when I get really sad, Chris is I'll, I'll, the same I'll, thing. Yeah, no, every <laughs> once in a while, when I get really lonely, I'll follow a girl on Brazil, like from Brazil. Yeah. Just, I'll just find some girl in Brazil and follow her, see if she follows me back. See I if I can start up a conversation. It's so funny. Like I'll get, I'll get some random ass DM from clearly a bot or something, and I click it to see how legitimate this woman is. She's a smoke show. And let's just say followed by Chris O'Connor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like 80% of the bots are followed by Chris I went O'Connor. through, I went through and deleted. I went through and deleted a bunch. I got in a hole where it was just like, fuck it. I'm just following people. Yeah. yeah. You got to see the pics. Yeah, yeah. You're really, you're really showing them. <laughs> yeah. You said that like you're really. No, no, I'm off. not. I'm not sticking it to them. I was just like, you can't be doing this. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can't have a thousand. I do that. I'll be following a thousand people and 900 of these or bots. <laughs> or sometimes I'll be like flirting with a guy and we're trying to make plans, but then they don't. And then I'm looking back at how desperate I looked. I'm like, oh, just block this person. So I can't go back and look at this humiliation. They're like, what? did you block me? Hmm? You know? Yeah. What's the worst one you had? Grinder date. Grinder, like a gr- date. 
All right. Um, like a grinder fuck, like yeah. a meeting. Mm. Not the sex, just how fucked you know up what, it was. To be honest, I'm, I'm not having that much interaction to be able to like think like the worst. Uh, I don't know. Give me a minute to think about it. Obviously not enough. So that's great. Yeah. The fact that you don't have. I should be getting fucked It's like more. doing stand up for 10 years and someone going, what's your worst show? And you're like, I don't oh, have God. an example. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah worst couple, grinder. Yeah. Well, sometimes you get there and like the vibe's not what you thought it was going to be. And then you just like chit chat and you're like, well, actually one guy was really hot. He came over to my house and he was really nervous. And I was like, do you want coffee or anything? He's like, he was British. He's like, I'm just going to say this. I've, I've just gone through a breakup and I don't think I'm ready for this. <laughs> and I was like, okay, we don't have to do anything. Like we can watch a fucking Christmas movie. I don't give a shit. He's yeah. like, no, you're really attractive. Or you're really hot. <laughs> but I've got to go. I was like, okay, see you later. No big deal. I get it. No shame. Block. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. I feel like some of my most awkward experiences are like uh, at one of those moments where genuinely the girl is like, just come over and let's fuck. And I get over there and I'm just like, ah, this is like, I can't just come over and fuck you. That's like monstrous. People. You know what I mean? I it's get, not. So then I start trying to make like a little chit chat to like warm up the situation. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Not you being a comic. And, <laughs> and then it's awkward. Oh, St. Louis Cardinals aren't doing that well this year, huh? Right. <laughs> he wants you to lingerie. Yeah. And then <laughs> holding a plate of French toast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. And then it's like, it's chaos because yeah. I'm just like chatting up and she's like, are we I fucking I think that's a not? sign of, of a true heart. You know what I mean? I think you're yeah. caring. You're yeah. kind in that moment, but it's you don't just want to bust the door open like a fucking hotel room and start <laughs> burying assholes. You gotta be That's like, how we do it. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm saying That's it's amazing. amazing. Yeah. You know, kidding. <laughs> you walk if in a girl <laughs> on all fours on the bed. Yeah. Yeah. What would you, how would you respond? To that, you just uh, walk in. She's like, "I'm gonna be good. all Chris. fours on the bed. Oh, yeah. Just fuck me. No. Would you be? Would you? Like, would you talk about the Cardinals, Cardinals then? Yeah, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> dude, anytime you see Chris do this, he's, he's no, coming out I can't. Is this too, I won't, I'm sorry. Is this too stressful? No, 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 no. no. We can go back to talking no, about Cardinals. No, it's like Perfect. it's just one of those things where it's like sometimes you have these like wild sexual fan, you know, like really getting like aggressive in the bedroom or something like that, and then you run into a girl who wants that, and you're like. I can't do this every time. I got to like get up and pretend I'm furious. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Smack you around. I can't. That's role playing. It's too much energy. Role what? playing can be fun. I it guess. is. It is. But it's just, I feel like if I walked into a room and someone was on all fours ready to take it, I'd be like, whoa. <laughs> like, I, would, I, would, I would flip into like therapist mode or something. I'd be like, what are you doing? Are you saying that's never happened in your life? Walked into a room, someone's on all fours? Yeah. No. I'm not the guy you do that to. That's interesting. You know what I mean? No one, no one meets me and is like, this guy just wants to go. They're just like, or they're just so right, scared. They're like, I gotta, I gotta front face this <laughs> front guy. Face I gotta keep him. Like, I mean, uh, I've got friends who are blowing their Uber Eats guy when he comes over. Like, really? Yeah. What wow. rules? Yeah. Is it any Uber Eats guy or they got no, it was a specific one. It was yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he came back and they gave each other the look, the gay look. Yeah. And then there you go. It's like Damn. inflated Whoa. on their knees. That's incredible. That's like, I don't know. That's like hearing a story. I'm not saying about, this is every gay, by the way. I'm no, making no, a horrible no. generalization of my no. people. But it's probably. We most, have a lot of fun. You've you know? walked into a room. Someone's been on all fours. Yes. Yeah, but you're also, you have that like. <laughs> I'll show you a picture yeah. in 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's also like. there's He's got like crazy hot chick vibes, doesn't he? Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He, he dresses well. Yeah. He's got the hair. He looks good. Yeah. It's a whole thing. Are you gay? You straight? You know, the whole thing. <laughs> Nobody you. said that. Yeah, it's very. There's a lot it's of that going around. Nobody said volatile. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish I was gay. It's a <laughs> Same. I wish I could release all of this fucking tension. Yeah, I feel like straight guys hold on a lot of. There's a lot of tension. Well, there's a there's a you know this animalistic. What's that book? Uh, me, my body, myself. <laughs> animal no. farm? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's about just uh, having an animalistic nature around sex, just being like, you know, we're all animals and it's understandable to be attracted to to whatever you like. Yeah. And that doesn't mean you act on it, but like you should have a constant need to get off. 
with yourself or with another person? I'm trying to get out of this. I know. I'm just, I'm patiently waiting. I was hoping one of you two would say a word. Oh, no. I was like, just let's see where I want to see. I would, I would, I would hold the parachute that went. if one of you went, uh, I'm like, I'm out. I'm I'm out. Like, I'd love to see where this goes. Go ahead. Yeah. You're talking um, about the duality of man. No. No, sex. It's called you got sex. Primal urges. You got intellectual needs. Right. Real it's, sex it's on never, HBO. <laughs> that Remember that show? Oh my movie. god! What a wrong impression of what I thought sex was gonna be when oh I was a kid god. watching Real Sex. I yeah. was like, "Is this what being an adult's like?" Oh yeah. no, this was just <laughs> Taxi Cab Confessions was good too. I'll never forget this girl being like, "And once I got my breast implants, my my tits <laughs> don't stop leaking milk, so I have to milk my fucking self every fucking three weeks." And I was like. What? <laughs> Did you sign the waiver? That's not how it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone Meanwhile, she was eight mistake. months pregnant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also, I'm getting fat and I don't know why. Yeah, and I don't yeah, know my yeah. period. <laughs> Something fell out of my pussy and I, now I feed that the milk. <laughs> she still doesn't get it. The girl's in third grade. No, there'd be two people, two fucking wild animals in like AC, just like blowing each other in a fucking, in the back of a taxi cab on HBO. What? Yeah, it's the first time I like, I had a, Prime time jerk off station in high school. I was like, let's go. Dude. <laughs> dude. Cause it was so hot. The stories were so hot. Even yeah. when there was two women or one woman, she would, the, the guy was so charismatic in a scumbag way. He'd be like, so what, uh, what's your, what's your worst working night? Just kind of like how I asked him. <laughs> and she'd be like, well, one day. And then she would just tell stripper and hooker stories. Dude, I don't, I don't think kid. I saw porn with volume until I was 20. <laughs> Yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why you're so tense. Yeah. Turn the volume up. Yeah, yeah dude, you know. got It was just silent, squiggly porn for most of my childhood. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. Manual in space, totally silent, you know, no volume. Manual, yeah, manual like, in space. It was on like Showtime. Is that a Disney channel? <laughs> Sounds it's like Pixar, Phil of the dude. Future. It's a Pixar film. <laughs> <girl. laughs> Manual in space. Yeah. Little Merman just getting ripped to cartoons. <laughs> dude, I used to have I used to have a little action figure, Jasmine. From <laughs> you really reveal a lot. I'm, I love this. Yeah, me too. Let him go. Dude. Little action Why don't you start scratching the eyes? I'm telling you, he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna would, fire off. I would jerk off and come in her face in the bathroom. <laughs> Are you serious? I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> no joke in like high school, dude. What? Man. Yeah. So you already had the internet. Cut by his that. mic, dude. I want to have a career. Cut his mic. In high school, you're beating off on little Ariels. Yeah. Jasmine. 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 Not that, Ariel. Wait, Jasmine. What's different? Jasmine's Jasmine. Jasmine had legs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm not gay. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Good for you. No, because I, I like, uh, <laughs> dude, this is so dark. No, because so I, dark. I, I never wanted to do my homework. And my mom was always all my ass about doing my homework. And the only place I could hide would be in the bathroom, which I didn't get the internet in the bathroom because all landline shit. But you did get Jasmine. Yeah, Jasmine. <laughs> yeah, Getting Jasmine. your old Jasmine in the bathroom. Dude, was, oh. dude. Well, think about it. Like, what guy? Had it, we had to jack off to before the access of our fucking 100%. phone. Yeah. I mean, come on, Twitter now. I mean, Twitter. I don't have a real Twitter. I just I just follow porn and the news, which is weird to follow those two together. But um, yeah, it's <laughs> like there's just an endless amounts of porn. Just like just men getting railed on my yeah. phone. And I'm like, and I'm looking at it like I'm just going <laughs> like it's nothing. I know, I know. You know, like it's scrolling through Instagram. But I would rather this growing up the way we did. And the way I did is back in my day. <laughs> yeah. hundred percent. I just sneak in the middle jazz. of the night. Yeah. I can beat off to imagination. Yeah. You know, these yeah. kids are polluted with the constant gratification. I find myself Instant even still watching porn, jerking off to things that I'm imagining. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like I'm watching porn, but I'm also imagining other times of fucked people. Whoa. I love that everything you said, you look at us, your eyes are saying, you too? <laughs> yeah. And we're both yeah, like, yeah. Holy we're shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if there was an ejection button, we'd both be through the fucking ceiling. Yeah, my parachute would be out. <laughs> be something we warn our guests. If Chris looks at you three times. <laughs> but Chris, I love button. that you're admitting all this. It's fantastic. Well, that's the truth. Yeah. It's, it's great. It's, it's the God's it's honest great. truth. It's, it's my yeah. fault. I brought it up. I was like, Ryan, I'm sorry. I brought it up. This is all my. The no, Jasmine is my fault. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. No, one way or another. But looking at a, a miniature version of a woman and then <laughs> hammering out to completion in your parents' bedroom. 
<laughs> as a teenager. It's incredible. It's so <laughs> insane. Yeah, That's Jasmine. Oh, I get it. It was hot. Jasmine was hot. She was hot. hot. Yeah, yeah. She's she's hot. hot. Jasmine in Is Aladdin. she the hottest one? I think, well, I think I'm, she had white pants, the action figure that I had. <laughs> <laughs> she, I guess she was. Maybe she did it blue and ended up white. I tell you that. I know. Yeah, she because Aladdin was the hottest prince. Yeah, Jasmine was up there. It's Jasmine. I think Sleeping Beauty is really pretty. Sleeping Beauty is great. Yeah, but she's Sleeping a little Beauty. too like white, not as sexual. Yeah, yeah, you gotta she, go ethnic. She, was, she, was, she <laughs> looks, she looks ethnic. From from Ali Ababa, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. What was it called in Sally, Aladdin? Yeah, oh, yes, he, yeah. Yeah. Prince Ali, Ali yes, it is he. Not as you know. Oh, and I'm doing the J- Jafar. I'm so gay. I'm doing the Jafar version, <laughs> the reprise. <laughs> <laughs> Read my lips and come to grips with reality. <laughs> yeah. I, every time I hear him sing, I want to hate it, and I love it so much. You're Dude. very talented. Thank you. I yeah. haven't watched Aladdin in fucking forever. Does it hold up? It's good. The music's good. I think <laughs> it's a this little a cringy. Episode for Chris, it's a little cringy because Robin Williams. I mean, Robin is so talented, but there's all. <laughs> yeah, it's not for the faint of heart, I guess. But it's not like like Dumbo, where there's like pure racism. But there's, you know, it's 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 um. <laughs> there's racism in Dumbo. Yeah, remember the crows? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Wait, so it's a bunch of black guys beating up an elephant. No, no. <laughs> but they were, de- yeah, it's not. Yeah, they're just. <laughs> Yikes. Explain yourself, guys. No, I think they're just like, uh, what well, were like they in, doing? in Peter Pan, they, they had the, the Native American song. Remember? I mean, it was like, you know, yeah. That was the 1950s. So, but Jasmine, you no, know, but everyone likes Aladdin and Jafar's fun. The genie's fun. <laughs> I don't know why they did the live version. It was such a bad movie. And uh, first of all, an all Middle Eastern cast and a Philly genie. And secondly, like <laughs> it was so underwhelming and poorly directed and no, per- like the whole time you're watching, you're like, what is the point of this? Yeah. Like, just a shittier version of the animated film. Yeah, I saw, what did I say? I saw one of those animated, what's the Frozen? I saw that live on Broadway. <laughs> you saw Frozen on Broadway? Yeah. And were you were you going to jack off up to them? <laughs> like, I'll make yeah. some snow for you, no, princess. That I, went for the, that I went for the sheer art of it. What brought you there? Uh, my my <laughs> niece my niece says. loves the movie. Okay. So we, my, we went as a family. Was there a part of you when she was singing Let It Go that you were like, I'm really feeling this and I don't want to emote right now? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't didn't, want to reveal that I'm going to about to cry. I didn't love that movie. I didn't love. I'm not a big Frozen guy. Yeah, yeah. Either, so I, I didn't think there was really a plot. <laughs> There was a plot. I mean, kind <laughs> of, but I didn't. I Objectively didn't. <laughs> criticizing Frozen no, as an adult just, man. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't into I'm it. I'm trying to didn't remember really the details. Of, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was something about the relationship <laughs> between the two sisters I didn't. Ju- I didn't buy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, wish, I just want to remind you seconds ago you told us you jacked off on a jasmine towel. <laughs> but yes, it's it sort of stains the rest, the rest of your of my, criticism. Our DC commentary. Yeah. Well, we agreed about Renoir. Renoir sucks. Renoir does suck. He sucks. <laughs> Renoir's yeah. a bad if you like Renoir, you were told to like him. Uh, yeah. You ever beat off in an old painting? <laughs> <laughs> I can't beat off to any of his paintings. That's the problem. <laughs> that one you could probably get through. <laughs> no one, Morris, no yeah, one would know this. Yeah. Yeah, There's like, she looks like she got a big butt in the right of the Syrah painting. The park, yeah, yeah. what is it called? A day uh, at the park. Yeah, uh, e- uh, afternoon on La Grand Jatte. And the only person looking at you is the little girl. Yeah, asking for and I help. Think all, yeah, because yeah. I think those are. I think the big butts are supposed to be the sign of a prostitute. Well, they're no, no they're, they're bustles back yeah, then. That was the I way. Know, but that's, <laughs> I, look, this is just what I read somewhere. All right. <laughs> Sexual no, apparently everything. all the, those are supposed to be because the the uh, what is it the monkey in the bottom corner? I think that's supposed to be like something about prostitution or something. I don't. I don't know. That's just what I heard. That's just what a I day heard. at the park with yeah. Spice Sarah. Maybe that's a cat. Yeah. In the in the Chicago School the or the Art Institute of Chicago. I just can't get over the fact you're beating off on a little character. <laughs> Why? Well, we were desperate. That we were desperate times. Yeah. Desperate Listen, times I jerked off to a JC Penny catalog for like ten years. Hey, you have to the underwear section. Yeah. yeah, didn't you put a sock in a glass bottle and fuck it? Yeah. <laughs> Why a glass? You wanted we, some shape too. Well, the only plastic glasses or plastic cups we had were from like Eagles games or Phillies games from the stadium. And they're like big 32 ounces. <laughs> I wasn't hitting 32 ounces at 13. So I took a long glass like this that had like a, a nice taper Imagine to it. Imagine if it at the broke. Top. I know. I didn't think about that. We weren't all. thinking. No one was thinking about it. And I put kids. a little sunglass holder, that silky sunglass holder. 
Mm. Oh, the smart. case inside, wrapped it around, put it in between the cushions, got down on both nezes. How did you get a little pump a lump? Did you get like a rubber band on the outside? How did you get to stay on the outside no, uh, of the cup? The fact that this is the question, but uh, <laughs> it has a, it has a, like a draw, you know, like a. Oh, you tighten the drawstring yeah, around yeah, the. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. yeah. And That's for a, a while, move. it worked. That's a good. Yeah. yeah. Shut the lights out. You can imagine all your crushes. <laughs> Ariel. Just fucking a bag of, fucking a bag of Oakley's. Yeah. <laughs> Next. Next. My mom was like, what are you doing with all these sunglasses? <laughs> it's all for the covers. <laughs> I never wear sunglasses. She never catches me protecting my eyes. I'm just fucking the outside. <laughs> Uh, every year like Tom the Oakley organization would like to thank you for your dedication they get it they do yeah. get it they should get it but these kids these days they got it made they, they got fuck puppets they got they got uh, they, they got, got everything they got yeah they but got apparently it's fucking their, their brains up they got robotic whatever fine who cares apparently they're not I don't, fucking I in kids. real life I don't give a what? shit that's true <laughs> this is I don't another give a positive shit. About being everyone's gay. like, well, what with the children? I'm like, what about them? <laughs> <laughs> what about them? Who gives a shit? Damn, They're dude. not fucking Mateo. That's a problem. I don't I'm care what they do. <laughs> I'm living my life. <laughs> Sons of bitches. This is like you could just blow a stranger at 2 p.m. in any city you want. Mm -hmm. Fuck off. Kick a kid down a well and get in a cab and be like, what's for dinner? Yeah. There's there's no worries. It's usually my daily routine. <laughs> Just looking for kids to kick. That's a different app. And then contemplate by wells. myself. Yeah. What am I having for dinner? <laughs> when I know it's chicken and rice, so I can keep getting fucked. <laughs> Does that you think thing? about dinner while you just hear him you'd be like, oh <laughs> down the well. <laughs> we got it, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make the splash noise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> help, help, help. Jessica. <laughs> Jessica in the well. Remember her? Yeah. What was that 95? Something yeah. like that. America's so stupid. Remember this balloon, girl fell down a well. <laughs> yeah. There's like a lot of starving kids around the world. But Jessica's in that well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. It took like a week to get that bitch out, too. Good. I think she was in like a pipe. Yeah, she was stuck. And then the next week blurry. there was another kid in the well because you know her parents were like, we gotta beat Jessica. <laughs> Tim, get in that well. Yeah. yeah. Little R chunky Tony. Right, I'm going around. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Balloon, the Balloon Boy? Remember there was like a balloon floating around in the Midwest somewhere and they were like, there's a kid in that thing. Yeah. And then there, I don't think he was, was like hiding in a garage. <laughs> I'm not kidding. He was like, right? He was like, that's what I remember from that story. <laughs> He was like, wait, they chase an air balloon across like yeah, yeah, state there was lines like a and shit in this balloon. So stupid. Dude, it's under his covers. <laughs> yeah. it was so Dude, dumb. It was a huge scandal. The parent, the parents had concocted the whole idea. Oh yeah. They really wanted like, to be famous. Yeah. What a crazy time. That's a, probably a good, that's like, a, thank God for TikTok and Instagram and shit. No one's doing the balloon thing anymore. No, we you really, know. we really evolved. We? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine saying thank God for TikTok. And yeah, Instagram. yeah. Because now you can get you know famous for other weird things and not trying to. You don't have to pretend your kids in a balloon. I have TikTok and I do, I post <laughs> like a video OnlyFans? and I literally <laughs> walk away. I've never ever opened the app and looked at it and gone through videos. I've never. I yeah. just post and literally walk away because like I can't let this take over my life. It's, it's too much. I, yeah, it's crazy. And it's if you like I logged on, I had never been on it before in my life. And it was just all like girls dancing. And I, I literally had to I was like, I don't want to see this. I don't want to. I was trying to get. What if it was Jasmine? <laughs> if it was Jasmine, then I'd stay. I even all the I have never read a single comment on TikTok. Nothing. And I no. get I'm like, I'm, people could probably hate me. And I'm like, well, whatever. I still I, I don't even nothing. know how it works. Yeah. Well, you're like doubling and tripling your followers and stuff every every year. You're killing it on TikTok. I started Anything. TikTok in January. I'm not talking about TikTok. I'm just oh, being okay, in general. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. you're you're on a level that you can't really. Even no. if you wanted to take two hours out of your day to read some comments, you'd only everyone. If break. I post a new video, like I'll go through Instagram, like to see like nice things people say, and then after like a minute, I'm like, all right, I'll just go back to the explore page and look at butts and Mariah videos. <laughs> yeah, that's my explore still, page: men's butts and then Mariah. You like Mariah Care? I love Mariah. Carey. You don't know this about Mateo. Well, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I I stopped liking Mariah Care when that Christmas song came out. 
Well, when she <laughs> fucked Nick Cannon, I got really upset. I hate that I was Christmas a little song. upset about Nick Cannon, but yeah. you know what? Literally She's, anybody else. She, I know. Did she have you kids just, with Nick Cannon? Yeah, she got two kids. Everybody oh, has really? kids with Nick Cannon. But her kids are cute. <laughs> her kids are fuck? cute, and she's I a good mom. Cute. Yeah. But they also have plastic surgery at this point, too. <laughs> they're 12. <laughs> Did you see that graphic of what the, they were like, what scientists consider the... The yes, I was all to Nick look Cannon's like, face. And they're all <laughs> <laughs> versions of Nick Cannon's face. He's got a lot of kids. Dude, he's like 30 kids. Yeah, he's got a lot. I thought my grandpa had a lot of kids. He's got, thir- that's a lot of kids. And thank God Mariah is like a good mom and rich. So she's like, I don't need Nick Cannon. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Did you meet her? Did you get to hang out? I with did. Him? I met her in an elevator for, uh, their, so I used to do this show called Girl Code and Guy Code way yeah. back in the day. Oh, we know. Which, honestly, it was a fun show. I mean, they had a good cast. Yeah. And Stefano, Pete Davidson. It was Chris Stefano, Pete Davidson, Andrew Schultz, Nicole Byer, Aquafina, yeah. me. Um, I would be the least successful on that show. You're the least gay on that show. Uh, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. For sure. Chris Stefano, please. Um, I love Chris. I did a Chris Stefano me impression too, on We rules. Might Be Drunk the other day, and so many people commented on it. I texted Chris, I was like, Did you hear anything about me? Doing depression. He's like, no, what'd you do? What happened? And I was like, oh, I do like a whole thing. Maybe. Um, but yeah. So anyways, the producer of that show was named Stucky and he's got a real thick Southern accent. So years later, he called me. He's like, Mateo, can I have you here at the MTV studios? I can't tell you what it is, but it's a surprise. I said, I know it's Mariah. He goes, damn it, boys. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> so they did this show. It was like fans meet her and uh, their favorite celebrities in an elevator. The elevator doors open up and she's there. And it was me and six other fans. And I was in the elevator and there she was well lit and nervous as I imagined her. And um, she was beautiful and her every she would she, I was on her good side. So she couldn't really quite look at me, but everyone was freaking out. And since comics were so used to adrenaline. I just was asking her normal questions. But we we sang Always Be My Baby together. She did a whistle. What? No. And at one and you kept seeing like every once in a while her, her makeup artist was in the elevator. You just see this this hand like pearled out and like touch her face and then like go back in <laughs> and uh you said she you was were great. on her good side so she wouldn't turn towards you so her right side is her good side so i was standing she's here like so she couldn't turn to me because that means the camera would see her left side so she stayed on her good side so she would sort of like lean like that and then they said do not touch mariah well of course the white girl was like can i hug you and mariah's <laughs> like yeah so she hugs her, so i was like fuck it i'm the biggest mariah <laughs> fan in this elevator and so i said can i hug you and she goes sure and she hugged me like I was the help. And uh, <laughs> it was great. And I used to make a lot of disparaging jokes about Mariah, but I've publicly apologized. I take everything back. Because you met her. And I stand by her. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. This is how I was with Carson what? Wentz. You want a uh, straight story? Who's who? <laughs> exactly. That's my He's Mariah Carey. He used to be the quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah. He was on an MVP season the year we won the Super Bowl. That's what Ten, year? 2018. That's awesome. Best year of my life. It is awesome. It is awesome. And he was a wonderful man. He didn't have a good side. He had all good sides. Right. He would take a picture from the back. If you want it. <laughs> I'd like to see that photo. Yeah, I bet you would. <laughs> he's a quarterback? Yeah. yeah. Are quarterbacks then, then the hot ones? Yeah. Oftentimes. But like, I feel like, In what's his NFL, name? Who's, who's married to Giselle or if they're getting a divorce? What's his name? Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. He's not that, like, he's not a nice body. He's not aging no. well. He's, he's aging fine, but he's just doing like, work. He's aging pretty but good. Shouldn't nah, he's like doing football work. players like shouldn't he have like a huge butt? Yeah, he doesn't nah, have he's a, a butt. pocket no. passer. He doesn't have to. He's not. He's not pushing any weight. There's no reason to have a a reverse. Quarterbacks book- and linemen have no butts. Okay, what? so who have the big yeah. butts? Linemen have big butts. So a lot of linemen don't have butts. It's just because they're so big up top. Maybe. Well, I just love some. in football that you can, for some reason, you see all their jock straps. I'm like, no one cares. We just see all of their jock strap. No yeah. straight guy gives a shit. Just jock straps walking around a field. A lot of these dudes, dudes they're going bird. Oh, the dude. Oh, yeah. They don't put <laughs> straps out. out. No, yeah. they, all the straight people now are like, look at my dick. I Mine's to the right side. Yeah. That's the thing with straight guys now recently, right? They're showing yeah. off their dicks like women are with their boobs. Yeah. Like, check it out. 100%. Am I making this up? No. Straight people yeah. notice No, you're too? right. Okay. But also, it is, it, it is function. It's not just fashion. <laughs> these guys are literally well, running to the right. 22 miles an hour down the field. And they don't want a banana cup. They yeah. want yeah. anything chafing or rubbing. In the inside of the thighs. I never wore a cup. That's crazy. Well, I feel, cross, do you wear right? a cup? You wear a cup in like hockey, but you wear a jock strap in football. In football. Not like a yeah. cup. Yeah. You, you right? know, cross yeah. you can get away with it. You might get slapped, but you're not getting constantly, you know, assaulted. Yeah, hockey, yeah. you got a puck coming at you 70 miles an hour. You yeah. got to wear a fucking No, I wore cup. a cup in hockey, but I did not wear a cup in lacrosse. And yeah. I got poke checked in the dick once, and it was the worst feeling of my entire life. Yeah. yeah. Lacrosse seems 
annoying to play. <laughs> it's great. That's it's the only great. way I can describe it. It's like a <laughs> poor man's hockey. And if you play it lacrosse is. and you're getting upset, good. I mean, it just isn't it though. Like you're on a field, you're running. You're yeah, catching, but it's oh god, the indignity. Hockey might be a cool <laughs> <laughs> hockey. You're on ice, you're slicking and sliding around, and you're you know what I mean. There's like a coolness to it. Lacrosse is like a bad, like if a badminton player just wanted to play football but didn't want to go the whole way. <laughs> that's what you are. You're like a glorified badminton player. No, it's good. You get to throw a ball around. You can throw a ball super far because you got a stick. It's sweet. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. You were 12 yeah. other dudes. It's a common. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got <laughs> jazz. Boys. Jazz. Boys. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Good luck, yeah. So you get pumped up for games, dude. Give it to jazz. <laughs> Wrestling was such a, like watching my cousin Michael wrestle and I could never go to the sporting events because it was, so, it would be like, it was too much. It was, you know what I mean? It's like, imagine well, that's intense. Imagine yeah. being like 16 and watching the hottest women just in the tiniest clothes wrestling each other. You would yeah. be like, I have to go. <laughs> yeah. I need to leave. I have to go. Like I couldn't. I don't understand. It's so gay. How early did you know that, that you I was gay? gay? Yeah. Four. Really? Five. Right off the jump. I mean, it's like it would be like. When did you know you were straight? Yeah. Yeah. It's that, that. rules. Does it rule? It was the eighties. <laughs> oh, it was yeah. the worst time to be gay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was four, so I wasn't like. I I wasn't like nineties. <laughs> yeah, nineties were brutal. Yeah. The dinings are brutal, and so are the early aughts. And yeah. it frankly, still is kind of rough, depending yeah. on what country you live in. Yeah, true. Shout out Qatar. <laughs> <laughs> Go USA. Yeah. yeah, isn't that like they're they banned the armbands? You, you can't wear. You can't mention anything being gay. Yeah, yeah some, like five thousand people. Caitlin Palupa was trying to explain to me. Didn't like a thousand people die constructing all? Oh the, yeah, I think oh, more than that. Yeah, more. That's crazy. Yeah, I think Seven thousand people died, and then Italy didn't even compete. They didn't get in. Is that Damn. right? I mean, They're like the best what? in the world. No. Used to be. Wait, how did they? How did they miss? Yeah, because in 2006, uh, we win. <laughs> True. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I was in Switzerland when that happened, and uh, <laughs> your life is <laughs> insane. I was in Switzerland. I always, uh, I'm gonna have to fact check. All you're this. like Barbara Who's Walters. My, every time she <laughs> talks, she's like, "I was on a boat with." with <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was my first day of work. Fidel Castro and I were <laughs> contemplating our most. I'm doing sure. Terry. <laughs> it was my first day of work, and I got where? in where at Staples in no, Switzerland. No, was, like, where working, were you working? I was working. I was working for an oil tanker brokerage. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anymore. That's enough. It's, a, it's so, too much. It's so it's much. much. It's, it's oil, too much. It was a very. It was like every dude was from a different country. So the first guy in was a French dude who was pissed. He sat down. Well, they shouldn't have had butt. I know. Zinedine Zinedine Zidane. Yeah. I, I remember that. I can't yeah. believe it. It doesn't make sense. Well, we have an angry in the person. We just make a headbutt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, uh, we, we are the winner. We, know. we have better <laughs> bread. This is a dude that he's got a fucking nugget too. He, ch he chest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was, was like a team captain. Chest. It was like a craziest. It was his last. I would also. Cup. I like, wouldn't piss off an Italian like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they'll yeah. find you. Oh, dude, this this is so like this guy come French guy comes in furious. Dude, I can't get over. Then the, no. then, <laughs> then, <laughs> then at like, do you bring Jasmine with as like a good luck charm, like a, <laughs> like a rabbit's foot? Because I've been small. trying to have a conversation yeah, with yeah, all yeah, this, but just thinking of him being all the time. <laughs> Oh, Jasmine, Jasmine, you slut. In his beard. Yeah, and it's just a still figure staring <laughs> back at him. <laughs> you take that, you little bitch. Yeah, it was one of those you ones like that, you little You like that, you little, you little fucking the, the arms couldn't move. They could only go like up and down like this. You know, right? <laughs> just to clean her up. Legs, the, <laughs> legs, <laughs> <laughs> the only time you move her hands and legs is to clean the cum <laughs> off her. Did you, you decide like, like today the arms are up? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> when yeah. you came, did you put her arms up so she came with you? <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. There's definitely the a couple times. <laughs> right. Yeah, how about your stupid story about the French guy? We're stuck on Jasmine. Yeah, yeah dude, no, there were times where I because her knees wouldn't bend either, but I still would bend her. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, one day yeah. <laughs> one day you're gonna walk. Yeah. Do you know I I thought it was just a still plastic figurine like this big and she's becoming more no, I see no, why no. we're so attractive. My <laughs> And here's my thing. I want to know when was the day that you were home whoring, right? And you just you're looking for anything, and finally, like it revealed, it revealed itself to you. Like you saw Jasmine across the room, and you're like, you, you know what I mean? you're and gonna get it. Like, no, you yeah. know, like, 
<laughs> well, oh, dude, we, I'm gonna be watching TV late night. Your, your girl's gonna come out of the bedroom dressed as jazz. <laughs> I'm gonna know exactly what you meant. I'm going to buy you a Jasmine action figure dude, and put it on all fours in this room. And go, Daddy's home. Oh, you it's, could put this one on all fours. Yeah. It's some like white paint, like, <laughs> just so you feel more comfortable. Oh my God! No, well, I'm we so had. Sorry. The we had no, don't be sorry. Something. We just got a new T-shirt had, for merch. <laughs> it's had, a come down Jasmine. We had like in, in there was a small bathroom, and then there like in one there was one low cabinet <laughs> where like we had toys for when we were kids that we would play in the tub. I like to play in the tub, <laughs> and, was, and then, but we never got rid of those toys. So one time I was in there and I'm beating off to my imagination, and then I start rummaging through the toys to see what so what could keep it up. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you're yeah. fucking 13, right? Yeah. Probably and you're older. like, what kind of toys under the sink <laughs> yeah. to you get know, me off? You're yeah. 13. That's yeah. nuts. You, you do anything at that time. Yeah. Anything at that time. And Jasmine was... <laughs> so Jasmine spoke to you. Yeah. I, yeah. I will confirm absolute smoke. Yes. Jasmine is I would have preferred if like the only thing you had left was like Ursula, like an octopus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're like, you're this will do. Yeah, 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 she's yeah. gonna give you the most love back. That would have been a real or, like, sliding the old doors queen from moment, Snow White where sure. she turns into like the the poison apple. Like <laughs> you're like, yeah, this bitch will do. That would have sent me down a totally different path, right? Yeah. Would it? <laughs> because it seems like you've had some interesting paths in your life. <laughs> would have never made it to Switzerland. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Where are we at? We got to read, huh? They weren't? Of Wait, course. is that She's the right turquoise. action figure? She's turquoise. Oh, it is turquoise. It was, but I'm colorblind. It was, turquoise uh, is close to white. Was slow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I said it's on her face. Yeah, it came on her face. <laughs> And she had this big, it was the, she had awning, an anti-com yeah. awning. Well, the way the hair was in the plastic, <laughs> it was like a big <laughs> maybe she, so it would catch. It would catch yeah, like maybe she up. had fluffy curly hair prior to you <laughs> abusing her for 10 years. <laughs> maybe you split her wig, oh, literally. Christ. <laughs> anyway, after Italy won that World Cup, uh, that, the it, Italian guy came in at lunch because he had driven back from Italy to Geneva. He had an Italian flag tied around his neck and was running through the place. And then the French guy got up and they fought each other. Like really right, in, right between awesome. me. That Italians and the French don't, they don't get yeah. along. Nobody I think it's the French. Well, people really mm. are, get upset with the French. And when you talk to French, people like, yeah, I, I get it. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. We are not so. Because they used to run everything. They used to be the biggest game in town. And now they're nothing. <laughs> no, the French <laughs> The French have a beautiful culture. It's just they're a little they're a little highfalutin. Yeah. But the Italians are so warm. You know, you go there and they're so sweet and warm and, and relaxed. It's, you know, I'm also a little bitter. I just sort of broke up with this French guy. So I'm like, Ugh, French. <laughs> like actually French or just from? From France, from oh, Paris. Really? De Paris. Did you speak French to him? Oui. That's pretty hot. Yeah. He would be, he would be as the French people are. <laughs> yeah, I speak right. French. He'd be like, no, you speak French. But I can understand. I can understand what you say, but uh, your grammar is not perfect. I was like, wow, you're really romantic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's the problem. And you say ciao to an Italian. They're like, wow, listen to you speak so good Italian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're anywhere close. Yeah. That's but, all. That's all attitude, right? So like Italians are more aggressive yet loving. Italians are just more they're, on to their to the point about how they feel. If they're sad, they're sad. They're happy, they're happy. They're the, you know, it's like where the French it's it seems to be like they're a little more curated and rightfully so. They play their cards a little closer to the chest, I think. But Italians, generally speaking, they're just like out with the emotion, really? fighting in the streets. It's great. I thought the French were all free love and out there. I believe you've confused <laughs> no? the French. Her wife is else. French. Well, I thought it what? Yeah, I know, but she's not free love. They aren't. You think that, but it's not all menage a trois. And all that. <laughs> no. Get the memo, the younger generation. Oh, really? They're like yeah. conservative? <clears throat> no, they're just more, they're not, you know, they're not Italian. Okay. Nobody is. <laughs> no one's Italian. Italians are wild. <laughs> they're in, so crazy. Greeks and Italians have a lot in common. Yeah. They're gaudy as fuck. And they're hairy assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Out of control. Manscaped. Oh yeah, no, no, it's not made. It's good. What is it? Uh, Express V, you know. Uh, Express V. <laughs> that would nice. They got another nice weird ad for us. Awkwardly, <clears throat> you can use an IP in Italy though, and watch different shows on. Netflix. You can. Do you know? Do you, Mateo? Do you know what Express VPN is? 
I can't wait to hear. Did you see Hand of God? By getting the way? on Grinder right now. Sorry, what? <laughs> the movie, the movie Hand of God. Did you see Hand of I God? I did not see Hand of God. Oh, it's great. Oh. <laughs> they show cock and balls. They show that on like like soap commercials. Like it's not like there's just tits out and nanas are just like eh, pass the butter. Do you it's like so old normal, Italian though. movies? Do you like? Uh, I like Fellini a lot. Yeah. What about uh, who's the guy who made like? Uh, is it Antonioni who made like Lenot and Lenotte? Yeah, De Laurentiis maybe. He was a big uh, Italian producer. It's La Ventura. Well, anyway, Hand of God is like a modern version, but in that like old Italian style, it's really fucking good. Oh yeah, the Italians yeah. had a good run in the fifties and sixties <clears throat> and seventies with films. I love Eight and a Half. Yes, Eight and a Half. It's a good inch. It's a it's a good not too big and not too small. <laughs> Come it's on. Great. Have you seen eight and a half? Probably at some point. I've seen eight millimeter. Yeah. Nine millimeter. Eight millimeter. Eight, I think it is eight millimeter. What's the one with um, Nicolas Cage? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's enough of him. <laughs> so insufferable. I hear you. But yeah. no, no. modern actors, enough. Yeah, I mean, like, true. Now enough. True. Now enough. It's, I feel like I watch He at least has done some shit. Uh, you, like The Rock? Yeah. It has to be in every fucking movie. Yeah, but yeah. those movies aren't like, it's not like The Rock is his intention is to go out there and play Richard III. I mean, he knows what he is and he's capitalizing on it. I mean, also movies now, it's a global market. So movies now are like Marvel, superhero, like explosion. So it's like the movies of yeah. the 70s are done. Yeah. Really. I mean, it's not that they don't happen, but it's like they don't get the attention. We're never going to see a Godfather again. No. A, a, a relatively unknown cast besides... <clears throat> Marlon Brando doing a film about a bunch of Italian mobsters and it's slow. Like that just that that's not a box office hit anymore. That's also what's nice about watching old movies is they're slow. Well, I, wa- I was just talking about this today. It's to Jim and slow. Sam this morning, but I was talking about alien. I watched alien mm-hmm. the other day and it was like so brilliant to me because it just took its time. And the exposition of these characters wasn't like over the top of like, Every sentence they said was trying to force you as the viewer to believe they have a relationship. Right, they right, just right. existed. Yeah. And because they just existed, you you didn't know anything about Sigourney Weaver, who she was, who her family was, where she was from, yeah. you know, her relationship with other people on the planet. You just felt the you could feel what kind of person she was by how she acted. And you could feel what kind of person she was, how she acted with other people on the ship. It was such good acting and so subtle. That you look how Italian I am. It was so subtle <laughs> that that when you watch it, you think you say, "Okay, I know who this woman is," and you allow yourself to fill in her background and move along with her character arc. By the end, you really go for her. Where you watch, like I watch Alien Covenant, and it's like they're trying so hard to make these characters feel yeah. like they really know each other, and this is the this guy, and that's the this girl, and it just is. So... I was there for you when you got divorced. Remember? Right. That's <laughs> yeah, like yeah, right. Yeah, that's yeah, like yeah, the yeah, opening like, oh, exposition yeah, yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where like it's I think, putting a hat on a hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Where it's like you know. So Gourney Weaver, I, I don't, we didn't know anything about her as yeah. a character, you know, so you see but, those and, nice supple tatties. Yeah. She did have a great body. She did. <laughs> she did. But that's what I'm saying is like, it was just like that's long like shots, mean. great cinematography, great timing, great pacing, yeah. allowing the audience, you know, everything is so quick and fast and brrr, at, at once where like, it's like the, it's, it's almost like the filmmakers are saying, we don't trust that it's going to hold the audience's attention. They're going to get up and leave at any moment. So we better cram it as much yeah. as we possibly can at any mm-hmm. moment. And it just kind of ruined cinema and film. Yeah. And yeah. That's why I all like, like I, I watch all of like the foreign films at the end of the year. Yeah. All the Oscar noms for foreign films will <laughs> fall into the category of sitting in that space, getting to know the character. Yeah. You know, the cinematography is is just as important as the, as the words. Sometimes yeah. it's like that uh, Simpsons, remember, where like Itchy and Scratchy went to Gabbo. And so Krusty was like, so we have the Eastern version of Itchy and Scratchy. And this, <laughs> <laughs> the Eastern European version, it was just like this weird cat and mouse like. Hip, hop, hip, hop, hop, hop. And it was like in this weird, like gray area. And Krusty's like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> it's a little that too. Sometimes it depends. No, it can be too artsy. That's why I wait for the awards to come out. Let's right, right. The people do all the research. I think Hand of God was up for best picture last year. It's yeah. Good. Yeah. It's about a kid growing up in Napoli. 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 Comes from the yeah. Greek word Anapule, which means a new city. No shit. It's a Greek settlement. All right. There so you go. And I discovered this at lunch one day. <laughs> yeah. We were getting pizza and the guy was like, I'm from Napoli. And he's like, I'm Greek. He's like, Anapule. So yeah. And then Savas goes, oh, a new city. Because that's the translation. Yeah. He's like, yes, it's Greek settlement. I'm like, there we go. That's big. And most Naples people have Greek blood in them. 
So really? it's like when they do D- DNA, figure out who you are, what you are, it's hard to decipher between Greeks and Italians. Yeah, I would think that there wouldn't be much genetic difference between Greeks and Italians. <laughs> there's not, actually. Yeah. I mean, on Southern Italy, a little different because there's a lot of Arab influence or like... Uh, you know, and aesthetics, too. Like yeah, the way yeah. they design apartments and outdoor areas. They put like marble lines on dog Well, shells. Greeks take Italians to town because <laughs> Italians were pretty gaudy, but Greeks... Oh, it's crazy. No one does it better than a Greek. There's a, there's a house two blocks over that is marbled on the outside. I love it. It's insane. <laughs> they got like so chrome f- railing on everything. Oh, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, yeah. no. I mean the, the exterior, the actual structure of the home. He's, Not marble. He's got, obviously has marble uh, <laughs> stats hands. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like the entryway's marble. He has marble plates on the outside of the home. My friend Sophia growing up. Do you know how insane that is? <laughs> in this neighborhood? Totally normal. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but but growing up, my friend Sophia, they came over from Greece. They moved to Albany Park, which is a lot of Albanians, Muslim, and and Puerto Rican. Like that. It's a very mixed neighborhood. The three worst people in the world. <laughs> <laughs> you monster. <laughs> and uh, so Two out of three ain't bad. So they're this Greek family. And you can tell when you're going by house to house, it's like normal house, normal house. Then you get to her house. Literally, they've got a white picket fence that's too short with giant sunflowers, lambs that lead up to the cement steps. <laughs> now, the cement steps in a Chicago house is is it just it's cement steps. And then it's like a block. So basically, it's enough for the door to open. So you come out of the house. Well, they put AstroTurf on everything, hanging oh plants. My God. And then a heavy chair with two seats or a table with two seats. So like you can, when you go and you can barely get in and they got a huge garden in the back. And the first time I went over there, Sophia's mom, Daphne, who I absolutely love her. They just, you know, the, the warmest people. But the first time I get over there, I'm ready to say hi. My name is Mateo. You know, she opens her and starts yelling at Sophia. Sophia, I tell you, the gypsies come to take our cats. Cause I'm like, do that. And slams the door. Always had food ready. Blue shag carpet. Fantastic. Dude, that's- Fantastic. <laughs> That's fucking Elvis' own. What about the gypsies? Yeah. The gypsies come to take our cats. Cause I'm like, I tell you, why you don't listen to me? She'd read our fortune in uh, our Greek cups. To make us Greek coffee and then read our fortune. And she would always go in depth with mine, you know, like, this says, I see a heart and you make money that come with it. And then she'd read Sophia's, this says that you're a bitch. <laughs> Incredible. Express then, VPN. So, oh, oh yeah. sorry. Go ahead. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got to get this out. Have you met a Greek that you've liked? We've all used on key <laughs> incognito mode, but it's probably not incognito as you think. Google makes it fortunate. <laughs> Guys, I can't do this. You want me to read it? Yeah. You want me to do it as Liza Minnelli? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the three upgrades. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we've all had, we've all used incognito mode, <laughs> but it's probably not as incognito. As you think. And Google makes fortune by tracking your movement online. Well, I move so slow, no one tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. That's, that's all. Yeah. Was Liza. All right. Uh, <laughs> Google makes you have a bus. So your online activity. Oh, well, yada, yada, yada. So your online Show activity. It like you so mean. Yeah, Liza's Uncle Bob. Data brokers Back still out. get to buy and sell your info. So how do you actually make yourself as invisible? invisible as possible online, you use ExpressVPN like I do. Every time you connect to ExpressVPN, you get a random IP address shared by many other ExpressVPN users, making it harder for third parties to identify you and harvest your data. Uh, when I'm on the road, I know ExpressVPN <laughs> will keep me secure anywhere. When I'm using ExpressVPN, I know I'm getting the best protection. It's like having a junkyard dog with me online. Uh, Express VPN is super easy to use no matter what device you're on, phone, it's laptop. It's so or, fun. <laughs> it's so fun. When Chris is in Switzerland. <laughs> laptop or smart. Right. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Uh, and all you have to do is tap one button for instant protection. If you really want to go incognito and protect your privacy, secure yourself with the number one rated VPN, expressvpn.com slash stuff island and get three extra months free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash Stuff Island. ExpressVPN dot com slash Stuff Island to learn more. ExpressVPN. That was better than two weeks ago. When, when I were, did it? No, no. When they were like, I don't know, there's something about like, you know, you know, predators are after your kids. You got to hide their Oh, yeah. Addresses. It's creepy as fuck. It's like, or it's the, the opposite fuck? going like, you got to hide your porn addiction to children. <laughs> I feel like that was more. Do you think a VPN can do that? I don't think so. I'm not going to speak for Express. Look, if you're going to order Jackson, <laughs> Jasmine action figures, 
<laughs> I love use, that the arms went up. VPN. What? I love that the arms went up. I don't know why that really, it t- just tickled me to no end <laughs> that the arms went up. Touchdown well, Jesus. Early action tickled figures, me. Their, their legs were locked with their fake, uh, yeah, their hips their cup. Yeah, yeah, they had like a banana cup. Yeah. Fake bird. Yeah. And, and then their, just, their arms yeah. moved because you, you'd have to like wrestle them. she had them. this billowy top. So it moved. <laughs> you remember the top? Do you have sisters? Why a lot of time with this house. woman? What? Do you have sisters? Uh, as a kid, I was into that kind of stuff. Go on. Just say no. Yeah, I, well, what, didn't what you, I didn't have sisters. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I don't know. I liked, I got the action. I'm probably trying to act all masculine right now. You're like, <laughs> nah, nah, as a, as a kid, I was in this stuff. Anyways, um, so somehow the jacket yeah. off on her was the proud one. Yeah. Mm. I wanted a Barbie doll. Good for you. Yeah. I, Good for you. And I had to ease my dad Damn. into it. So There's I was like, wrong let me get Barbie. basketball Ken. And he was like, all right. Came on him. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was for me. I would go with basketball Ken. <laughs> Any Ken can get it right now. Dude. Do they have wrestling Ken? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, Jasmine could only do this and move her legs. Barbie had that like crazy technology, right? Damn. Like her arms would be. It's hot though. Stuff. A girl going, touchdown. <laughs> 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 What are you Did doing you? in there? <laughs> Where's Jasmine? I just got to clean up some stuff real quick. <laughs> Fumbling action figures. Dude. Did you bring it back out like multiple times? Or Your was niece like, is oh, coming yeah. over and she's excited to play with all the action figures. Do we still have uh, that Jasmine you love? Oh my yeah, God. Yeah. I, Why were they I, still there? That's the question I have. They just never got cleaned out. Do you have a, a, a cluttered kind of house or a clean house or like what was the situation? Uh, it was like mostly clean, but there were like nooks and crannies that just had stuff in it. Like my parents were gonna clean out. Where'd you grow up? Uh, Connecticut. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, but yeah, they weren't gonna clean out like a little. It was a little cabinet. I think it like it used to be like all the cabinets underneath the sink were like fucking. Toys. Are both your parents Irish? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> what do you mean? Thank God, I didn't Italians say it. don't. There's no. There's no toys. No, there's toys. There's no room for anything we're not using. You understand what I'm uh, saying? What is this? Do you want this? Is this sitting here? You don't need this? Is this the dogs? It's going. Yeah. Or nah. they don't even ask and it's just gone. No. Nah, Ma, didn't I have a jacket? You didn't wear it anymore. How yeah. do you know? Winter, it's <laughs> summer. It's like he's <laughs> repeating our well, last 10 conversations. Yeah, we, um, yeah, my family were pack rats for sure. At least my dad is. Oh, not, no. not like, not hoarding level, but it's always like, if there's a tool or something, he's always trying to like reuse it for some shit. Only one up yeah. you. My mom is Italian and Mexican. So Ooh. it's a real clean house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Just get rid of everything. It's just like if you're not using it, bye. Oh. And my Aunt Cindy one time hate we grew up next to my cousin. So she hated this jacket I had. Hated it. So when I went to Italy to go visit family, it came back jacket gone. She really? got rid of it. That's how my mother was. was. Hated it. But she was. Did you guys have like a fight about it or no? Oh no, we laughed really hard because then I took our. We she had this pair of pants we hated, so we took that and threw that out from her. (laughs) This is a thing we did in my family. (laughs) This wasn't a one time thing. I laughed very hard and I was like, "Fine, I'm getting rid of those goddamn carpenter jeans you had." No, they're comfortable. They're embarrassing. It has a thing for a hammer, and you don't know how to hammer. That was every pair of pants in my family. Now they're back. Carpenter Carpenter jeans jeans are back. They're back. I can't do it just because of the. Uh, just the the bad memories, the violence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, my brother beating the fuck out of me in carpenter jeans. Yeah, <laughs> just I seeing it, it from a certain angle, it can't be like I'll try. But now you ask like girls to wear car- you, but you ask your Jasmine to wear carpenter jeans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she movie. was wearing baggy pants back then. She was. She was wearing like parachute pants. Yeah, it was cool. You must be losing your mind with all these Gen Z walking around yeah, these huge I pants love it. walking around. Love it. Mm-hmm. Love it. <laughs> You know, mm-hmm. love it. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> yeah, I love baggy pants. My mother, uh, I want to talk about this. My mother yeah. today texted me. I was like, I sent her this QVC movie, Hallmark holiday movie. Which one? Uh, it's called Holly, Holly and, and Hot Chocolate. Yeah, McKeever wrote and directed this movie where he had a couple of his friends on. And it's actually for for what it, it the parameters of a, imagine a QVC Holiday, I'm obsessed. So I yeah. just watched the holiday uh, Christmas calendar and I'll explain the plot to you in a minute. Yeah. So you have to fit into a certain parameter of plot and a level of humor and how far you can stretch that and such. And he did an incredible job. It's so fucking good. Sent it to my mom thinking like, she's going to be like, this is my chance to be like, Hey mom, I'm still doing stuff. Yeah. 
because the last thing she saw was like Law and Order SVU. And yeah, was yeah. Like, you still doing that? She and has one no of her idea. students being like, "Are you talking shit about our yeah. family?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I sent it to her, and I'm in this fucking dermatologist this afternoon, and miserable in the middle of shithole Queens, taking like a one of those monkey elevators. Up to some <laughs> terrible fucking third floor. With a single person elevator? Yeah. I and like I sent that. this to her like two days ago. She didn't respond. I sent her a link to get to it. Yeah. I thought to be like, oh, I can't wait to watch it. Or maybe one of my aunts saw it or something like that. And the next response was about my ex-girlfriend. Uh, I need her number because I'm going to send her nursing books. And I was like, you fucking. Is your mom Italian? No, she's Irish. That's so bizarre. Yeah. yeah that's crazy. Why would she do that? I don't know. I'm going to call her as soon as we're done. You can I'm just call her now. I'm living. Anyone have popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> we have made a couple of phone calls on this. Yeah, that might be nice. Mom, what's going I'll on? I'll call her on the page. How do you talk to your mom? Like, I'll could you say to you, like, Ma, that fucking pissed me off? What's oh, your yeah, fucking yeah, problem? Yeah. Okay, oh, we're, great. Yeah. We're real as fuck. Yeah. I'm like, well, what the fuck? Why didn't you, well, you didn't even click the link? You didn't even tell me you got, the, you got the message? You go, oh, what message? And I'm like, you saw it. You fucking saw it. And then I'll dive into the ex-girlfriend so, shit. So and, my, and my mom will go, you know, wild on her own end. <laughs> um, you should watch the Christmas calendar. Uh, yeah, what, the plot of the movie is a, a woman who, of course, doesn't have a boyfriend or a husband. And the whole family is obsessing about it. Uh, it mysteriously gets a gigantic advent calendar. When I say giant, <laughs> it's like the size of a house. Yeah. And she, it's so inconvenient. And she brings it home. By the way, she's a photographer. We'll get to that in a minute. And then <laughs> every day, like a light, like a magical light glows up and the, the present leads her to a clue about what man is going to be in her life. It's pathetic. Oh my what God. Oh, you fuck? should watch it. Where was the mm -hmm. advent calendar from? God? I think her dad got it or something. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Something yeah. like that. Anyways, so she has friends with this Puerto Rican guy and then this rich white dude and she bumps into the rich white guy and she keeps thinking the signs are for him. He takes her on all these nice dates and she finally brings him home and she's like, I know this is going to sound crazy, but this calendar, calendar, it's the size of a wall. <laughs> this, this calendar has been sending me signs about you. And he was like, what? That doesn't seem like honestly like what are you talking about she's like you're making fun of me aren't you get out <laughs> and, and he was like well i don't this is you're ridiculous and then <laughs> but you know like the white lady watching it at home crying is like tell him and so yeah. <laughs> she ends up going with the puerto rican guy instead who has no job ruined her camera role um and works as an elf at a christmas mall <laughs> thing and uh but was there a sign from the calendar pointing towards the puerto it rican it all went guy? towards the puerto rican guy yeah 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 and then the the white guy was like a boob, right? Like not sexual, yeah. not fun. Da, da, da. Oh, it's twenty twenty two. You know, yeah. you got to be a boob. Yeah, I know. But you know, and, <laughs> and, and, and honestly, I, I, it, you watch it and you're like, well, both men are terrible options, and also your family stinks too. Like, <laughs> she's like a photographer. There was like a scene where like the mayor was like, I loved your photo, and I'll need photos by five a.m. tomorrow, or else. Like this like ridiculous <laughs> scene. I want to be in one of those movies. I just saw Lindsay Lohan's Christmas movie. And it was great. Was that it, recent or mm -hmm. is it old? Really? Is it recent? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. She's still oh, making Christmas. we got to catch up on Lindsay Lohan. It's her <laughs> yeah. first one she made with Netflix. The last really? time I saw her, she was at that like rave dancing with her, her perfect breast. Which what? one? You, in real life or like in Yeah, videos? she was all pilled out like <laughs> getting fucking nuts. Dude. Yeah, it was about 12 years of her life. Yeah. Yeah. But she's like it's cleaned like two, up. Three and years she, ago. Oh, she's cleaned up. Oh, she looks great. Oh, she looks great. really good. And she did this movie. And it was like, it, you're serious. This is a new movie. <laughs> yes. November 5th, it I came can't out. Tell you. What? Lindsay Lohan. It's a Christmas movie. And it's the How same. How does she get back in? It's a Netflix Christmas movie. It's not like. <laughs> it's still it's, getting a job after, you know. Well, I think people want her to have a comeback and this is it. She's taking yeah. it seriously. As seriously as you can take a Christmas movie, but she got a good PR person and she's making her rounds and she looks good. She sounds good. She's normal. Really? Other her mother. It feels like it should be easy to do with all those resources. Yeah, I think she burned a lot of bridges and she wasn't dependable. So like to do this and to like do all the PR things and be on the Tonight Show and follow through. And you know, I think it was like, it's like her saying like, hey, I'm ready to take it seriously again. Man. So I hope she keeps working. Yeah, that's good. Good for her. People love a comeback. People oh, thank do you. People do Chris. love a comeback. They yeah. do love so comebacks. I think, yeah. Mariah had her comeback, Emancipation yeah. of Mimi. Beyonce doesn't need one. She's just like a huge star. She's never going away. But like, like Whitney had her comeback, remember? Who's the blonde yeah. uh, mess? Uh, uh, Tara Reed. That one. And she's, she's, she's oh, I just saw. Yeah. 
What? That story Tara was Reed. crazy. No, Tara Reed. I just saw a, a recent video oh, of her. I'm. Can I call my friend Nick to have him describe yes. Tara Reed? Okay. Nick is uh, six foot four, about 120 pounds, only wears women's blouses and is a complete <laughs> asshole. But he's the funniest person I know. But he keeps sending me Tara Reed stuff. There's a new Tara Reed video? I feel. Um, so you're on a podcast right now. Can you just describe Tara Reed as of late? Um, I would say <laughs> she is a combination of Gollum and Lindsay Lohan circa 2009. <laughs> That's great. And, <laughs> that is a devastating image. And what, and, <laughs> it's a devastating oh, TikTok. <laughs> and what kind of things is she doing on TikTok? Fighting for her life. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what, what does that entail? Yeah, what, what's that? What did she say? She was dressed up as a fairy for Halloween. Turns to the camera and she says, "She goes, don't let anyone dim your sparkle." <laughs> <laughs> she also Holy had a singing duet. Shit. Which is oh, yeah, she had that singing. She's singing now. What was the she song? She does a lot of singing duets with a twink gay that really. Honestly, he doesn't have her best interests at heart. He's doing her dirty. Yeah, he yeah. Knows they're exactly all off key. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, that's true. But you <laughs> he's, know, he's manipulating Terry. Manipu Nobody manipulated fucking manipulated herself. Yeah. Uh, any Never last words on Terry Reed, Nick, before I let you go? Um, I'd love to see her in a Netflix Christmas special. I would too. <laughs> I would too. I would too. Nick, <laughs> I would too. I would love to this see is... a duo sister comedy of a Netflix Christmas. <laughs> She's Lindsay's older sister. Because you know they're going to give a sequel to Lindsay's Christmas movie from this year. So she can be Lindsay's older sister who just got out of rehab. Be <laughs> real. They got to explain why she looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> if Netflix is listening, I'm here to write it. <laughs> I think it's written itself. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, Nick. Goodbye. Tremendous. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I think it's spot like on. the thing. So all jokes aside, it actually is quite sad because you look at Tara Reed's TikTok and, and and I guess you could say she's living her life the way she wants to. But it seems like allegedly someone who is not well and she's yeah. being exploited of in course. a way because the gays she's putting these TikToks. She's like, wow, everyone's really liking my t she did a birthday wish for dog. She almost lit the dog on fire trying to blow up <laughs> candles and gays just that's gays love that, yeah. though. You know what I mean? We just, like, just a drunk it. mess. Yeah, but we appreciate it on a way where like straight people are like, well, that's funny. And gays are like, let me explain why. <laughs> you know, there's so much to deep. Yeah, dig you in, didn't you know? read the first three chapters. That's dude. right. <laughs> That's right. So this is yeah. So it is sad when you look at someone like that because she was so young and and I'm not saying she was the best actress ever, but when you're just we know in this American business, pie when you're given Ooh. that kind of opportunity, yeah, of course, it's so rare to get that kind of opportunity because we're just fighting for our lives out here, and yeah. so to just throw it away with drugs and alcohol is just kind of it's a shame, really. And she got a bad boob job. <laughs> oh, she does voiceover. Nick just sent me something we can share. He goes, she does voiceovers now too. I don't know what this means. Let's see what let's see what Let's it go. sounds like. If it's Express no. VPN, we have to cut it. <laughs> you might say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I love you. <laughs> So, you know, she's Whoa. dressed like Party City. It's not yeah. good. <laughs> but I will say Dude. she's held it. I mean, she doesn't look bad. She you know, doesn't but, look. She didn't look but, that bad right there. This is why like, all, a bunch healthy. of my friends from home, no, like, they, they still follow uh, a subsect of, of our upbringing, like our friends, because they're, they're getting to like the Facebook era of like their late 40s going, I'm going to post me singing a song and telling, telling them how I feel about this song. Yeah, and yeah. it's equally sad. But like, I've been hiding my talent sadness. for so long. I, know, I, know. <laughs> I gotta yeah. take a shot. The yeah. drop ceiling and fake wood in the background. They're just like, here's, oh. here's my next ballad. 
It's like, oh, dude, the indignity. Just fucking stop. <laughs> but you can't stop watching it. fake wood. I know, because it just the, there before the grace of God go. I, we're all just centimeters away from being I, there. Uh, yeah. I mean, all of us. Everyone in this goddamn maybe, room. Maybe three yeah. episodes away. I would say. <laughs> you know what? Dude. We're there. Yeah. We are there. This is a version of the same this, shit. Oh, please. Of course. Yeah. I make a complete ass out of myself. That's why he watches all that, like, that dark television intervention and shit like that. And, like, he watches people with Tourette's. Oh, try see, to I cope. can't. It gives yeah. me I so much do, stress. I, I can't, can't do it. Because I, I feel I, like I'm millimeters away from yeah. that person. I grew out of jerking off on uh, children's toys. And I was like, <laughs> I just want to <laughs> watch adults deal with alcoholism. <laughs> That's the saddest is like alcohols. Oh God, it's so sad. I remember Candy Finnegan. There was like a woman named Candy, <laughs> remember Candy? Finnegan. Yeah, the redhead Irish yeah. lady. My cousin's I know Candy. Candy. Love very well. Show. I met Candy. You did? Yeah. Candy. Candy. My cousin's kept saying Candy. This is my, this is my Mariah. Dude. <laughs> yeah. And and then I remember because I would go to my nonna's house and my aunts. We all watched TV. I filmed my aunts and watching uh, hoarders because my Italians. Um, how do I put this? I've seen the TV on in my home, but I've never heard it because so many people are talking at once at the program, <laughs> commenting. You don't know what's going on. Yeah. So we're, they're all watching hoarders <laughs> screaming at the top of their lungs, screaming at the top of the lungs. My grandma's screaming, look at the cat. It's daddy. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just like. You just hoarders won. is actually very difficult to watch. Dude, Hoarders oh, is so like Hemming and Han over a banana peel. I think it's, yeah, <laughs> that's the worst one, dude. Remember they, they give them the option first, we're going to let you throw something away. They Literally, a banana peel. Oh, but I yeah. might need that. That's just sad. throw the whole house out. <laughs> yeah. I know. Strap them down, destroy everything, and then fix it later. This is by far the saddest of all those fucked up. You know, it's mental, sad. And, it's sad. Yeah. and why do we? That's why I'm like with cancel culture, not because I'm not going there, but it, like what I'm trying to say is like we don't like certain words being said, but we're supporting watching mentally ill yeah. people as entertainment. Yeah. My 600 pound life, hoarders, addict, you know, uh, yeah. intervention, yeah. cops, whatever. It's like my oh. God, let let leave these people alone. Like yeah. my God, so yeah, we're not actually helping them. No, at least no, intervention no, cops just, has a nice storyline. You, know you, you just you just there's, a, there's a beginning and end. Yeah, there's certainly an end, and it starts with the end. It's we're yeah. watching the end of it's someone's end of life. End. It's the end. Of the end. <laughs> I mean, anyway, I, I do guess you have like a, to promote. <laughs> <laughs> so check out my new special online, the advice special on YouTube, Mateo Lane. Yeah, go uh, check yeah. it out. Did we just end it like that? Yeah. I mean, oh my god, that was it. Well, we might do. Yeah, <laughs> same way we started. Usually, when I take a piss. Yeah, 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 yeah take a piss. piss. So All right, go take a yeah. pee. All right. I'll pee after you. I got to pee all the time. This was a fun podcast, you guys. Thank you for having me on. Thanks for coming.